In nearly every modern electronic device, there's a tiny yet powerful component at work, the multi-layer ceramic capacitor, or MLCC. These small but essential components are the backbone of electronic circuits, ensuring smooth and stable performance. MLCCs are surface mount capacitors made up of multiple alternating layers of ceramic dielectric material and metallic electrodes. Their design allows them to store and release electrical charge efficiently. The ceramic body forms the core structure of the MLCC. It consists of multiple thin layers of ceramic dielectric material, which act as the insulating medium between the electrodes. Depending on the capacitor type, the ceramic can be C0G, X7R, X5R, or Y5V. These dielectric layers define how the capacitor reacts to temperature changes, voltage stress, and aging over time too. The internal electrodes. Thin layers of nickel or copper alternate inside, forming a stacked, interleaved structure that maximizes capacitance while keeping size small. Simple, but effective. 3. Surrounding the electrodes, nickel plating ensures strong adhesion and conductivity. But nickel doesn't solder well, so we need extra layers. 4. The termination layer. This connects the MLCC to the circuit. It's made of copper or metal epoxy, giving mechanical strength and electrical contact. Some versions use soft terminations to absorb stress and prevent cracks. 5. Finally, the tin layer makes the MLCC solder-friendly and protects against oxidation, ensuring long-term reliability. The first row of our table covers the capacitance range. MLCCs are available in an extremely wide range, starting from a few picofarads to hundreds of microfarads. Smaller capacitances in the picofarad range are often used in high-frequency circuits, while larger values in the microfarad range are used for power decoupling and energy storage. Next, we have the rated voltage range. MLCCs can handle voltages from as low as 6.3 volts, to as high as 10 kilovolts. However, the most common values used in electronics are 16 volts, 25 volts, 50 volts, and 100 volts. It's important to always select a capacitor with a voltage rating higher than your circuit's operating voltage to prevent failures caused by overvoltage stress. MLCCs are divided into two main dielectric classes. Class 1 capacitors are the most stable and are used in precision applications. Class II capacitors provide higher capacitance but are less stable and can change value with temperature, voltage, and time. The dielectric material determines how an MLCC behaves under different conditions. Here's a quick breakdown. Class I uses C0G NP0, which offers extreme stability with temperature changes and no aging effects. Class II includes X7R, X5R, and Y5V. These provide higher capacitance but come with trade-offs. X7R and X5R are commonly used in decoupling and filtering applications, while Y5V has the highest capacitance but is the least stable. One of the most crucial factors when selecting an MLCC is how its capacitance changes with temperature. C0G capacitors offer the best performance with only plus or minus 30 parts per million per degree Celsius variation. X7R and X5R capacitors can change up to plus or minus 15% within their temperature range. Y5V capacitors experience the largest variation, losing up to 82% of their capacitance at extreme temperatures. This makes them unsuitable for precision applications. Multilayer ceramic capacitors are known for their low ESR equivalent series resistance and ESL equivalent series inductance, which makes them perfect for high-frequency applications. Lower ESR means less power loss and better efficiency, which is critical in power supply filtering and RF applications. MLCCs are available in various SMD surface mount device, ranging from tiny 0201 packages to larger 2220 sizes. The smaller the package, the more difficult it is to solder, but the better it performs at high frequencies due to lower parasitic effects. In power supply circuits, voltage fluctuations can cause instability, leading to poor performance of electronic devices. 
Thanks to their low ESR and high frequency response, MLCCs are perfect for filtering noise and improving power efficiency, making them essential in DC-DC converters, power adapters, and battery-powered devices. High-speed digital circuits generate electromagnetic interference EMI, which can disrupt sensitive components. MLCCs act as decoupling capacitors placed near power supply pins of microcontrollers and ICs to absorb high-frequency noise before it spreads. This prevents signal corruption and ensures stable operation in communication systems, industrial controllers, and consumer electronics. MLCCs are also key in signal processing circuits, such as RC high-pass filters. By pairing an MLCC with a resistor, the filter blocks low-frequency signals, allowing only high-frequency signals to pass through. This technique is essential in audio processing, communication systems, and RF circuits where unwanted low-frequency noise must be removed. In power management circuits, a sudden inrush of current at startup can cause voltage overshoot, stressing components and reducing reliability. To prevent this, many voltage regulators include a soft start function, where an external MLCC capacitor defines the slew rate of the output voltage. The value of the soft start capacitor, CSS, is calculated using the equation provided in the regulator's data sheet. To make things easier, we've put together a comparison table highlighting four types. First, we have the standard MLCC, the most commonly used type. These capacitors are low cost, widely available, and perfect for general purpose electronics. You'll find them in smartphones, laptops, and almost any circuit you can think of. However, they have low stress resistance, meaning they can crack under mechanical strain or temperature fluctuations. Next up is the soft termination MLCC. This type is designed to handle mechanical stress much better than standard MLCCs. Thanks to its flexible termination layer, often made of polymer or a silver palladium mix, it resists cracking caused by PCB bending or vibrations. That makes it ideal for automotive, aerospace, and industrial applications where durability is key. These capacitors can be more expensive than standard MLCCs, but the added reliability often makes up for the cost. Now, let's talk about stacked MLCC. As the name suggests, these capacitors stack multiple MLCC layers together to increase capacitance without increasing the footprint. This makes them perfect for high power applications, since they contain multiple layers, they are more expensive than single MLCCs. Also, while they offer better capacitance density, they can still suffer from mechanical stress if not carefully designed. Finally, we have the High Reliability MLCC. These capacitors are built for extreme conditions. Think spacecraft and medical devices. They often have additional fail-safe designs such as hermetic sealing or special coatings to prevent catastrophic failures. As you might guess, these capacitors are the most expensive of the four types. But when failure is not an option, the cost is worth it. MLCC's capacitance is affected by several factors. First, temperature causes significant variation in class II and three dielectrics like X7R and Y5V. Next, DC bias voltage reduces capacitance at higher voltages. The solution? D-rate voltage or choose low DC bias MLCCs. Over time, aging effects cause gradual capacitance loss in class two and three MLCCs. Finally, at higher frequencies, capacitance drops. To counteract this, use low loss, high frequency MLCCs like SACCOG and PO. Selecting the right MLCC ensures stable and reliable performance in your circuit. And if you're passionate about electronics, components, and engineering insights, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. See you soon.